People ask me all the time, what do you like to cook? What's your favorite recipe? What's the best thing you ever made? And that's why we're here now. Not only to show you what we love to cook, but how you can make it too. This is one of the world's greatest recipes. You taste this dish tomorrow, you will never stop making it, ever. Oh, it's a real complete dish. It's got everything going on in there. Have a little taste of France right at home. Once you bite into it, you feel like you're transported to another part of the world. That really is the magic of it. This is the way I like to make the Eager Schnitzel. This is it. All aboard! I've traveled all over the world, and yes, frankly, right here is where the best thing I've ever made comes from. Of all the dishes that I've ever tasted, the one that I'm happiest to have brought home is this grandmother's Chinese chicken dish. A Chinese master sauce reduced around chicken wings. This is, for my money, one of the world's greatest recipes. First time I ever tasted this dish was in Hong Kong. So after, you know, 10 years of traveling to Asia, I brought this dish back home and I made it and it was good. It was good, but it, it, it wasn't great. I had everything, but the, the ratios weren't right. So after 20 years of trying to cook this dish, my friend's wife sent me a gift that her mother-in-law had given her. It was the recipe book from a Chinese chef that she had taken these private lessons with, and there it was, the ratios for the liquids. Like a great cake, this recipe pretty much needs to be exact in terms of the ratios of the sauces, otherwise it's gonna be too salty or too sweet or too spicy or too cinnamony. So pay attention to the recipe and hang in there. You throw these eight, nine ingredients into a pan and you have the most heavenly piece of comfort food you will ever taste. I take a bowl, I add a third of a cup of water, I add a third of a cup of sake, four tablespoons of brown sugar, third of a cup naturally brewed soy sauce, says so on the label. Do not use one with lots of artificial ingredients because when it reduces to a glaze, all you're gonna taste are those chemicals. Three tablespoons of mirin, Mirin is a Japanese ingredient. It's a sweetened rice wine. I love cooking with it. And three tablespoons of oyster sauce. Then, I like to take a chili like this one. This is a Chinese sin sin chili. Go ahead and throw one in. That'll be warm. If you like it medium warm, throw a second one in. Up to you. Next thing we want to do is we want to add our cinnamon. Whole stick, throw that in there. And then, the key for me, in terms of flavor on this dish is delivered by the star anise and the cinnamon. They have a, a sweetness that marries up with the saltiness of the soy that I think is transformative. Mm, unbelievable. Last but not least, ginger. All I do, take my spoon. Now the reason that I like to use a spoon is that I don't have to cut away all of my ginger. I want all of those juices in there, so I'm gonna cut it in slices so that it purges as much of its ginger flavor as you want. And I'm going to julienne cut these beautiful, crisp, fresh green onions and just throw them right there in the sauce and let them cook along with the wings. I take a large saute pan, the largest one you have, the more surface area, the better. And I put it over medium heat to preheat it, and I put my chicken unseasoned skin side down in the pan. That flavor of that roasty, toasty, crispy chicken skin is gonna be in this dish, and that's what we're looking for. And then you add your liquids. And when it comes to a boil, you cover it. Can you hear the pug panting? Yeah, they know it's chicken wing time. They love this dish. If you're a real man, you cook with your pugs. I take the lid off, 
and then you let the liquid just reduce at a simmer down around the wings until it's sticky and sweet and lacquered. And then I crank up the heat, stir, 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 and that fat, that incredibly sweet, roasty, toasty, soy sauce and brown sugar kissed chicken fat is now emulsified into that glaze, which gives the wings a mouthfeel that you will not find in any other technique. A little bit of sesame seed, sprinkle a couple little scallions on it, and you're done. It's sour, it's salty, it's smoky, sweet and delicious. I eat this every week and I'm hungry just talking about it. I would eat the bones if I could on this dish. Oh. You taste this dish tomorrow, you'll know what I'm talking and you will never stop making it, ever. I remember the first time I had Jaeger schnitzel and I was excited. Try it, it's good. It's the best thing I ever made. Come on now, trust me.